Well, one of the managers told me that the organization had purchased this vehicle over here just last month, and he also said that his heart sank when he learned that it had been targeted not once, but twice. While the white van may look just fine, the sound is a different story. Our driver got in it that morning to start up the vehicle, and when he started it, it sounded like a tank exploding, <laughs> pretty much. Rick Brannick is field operations manager for the nonprofit Fort Bend Seniors Meals on Wheels. He says the catalytic converter was stolen from the vehicle on March 8th. It's pretty low for somebody to come by, uh, be selfish, take a catalytic converter that they can you know, pawn off and get money for, uh, for their own gain, while now we have to have a vehicle down. After a replacement was installed, they got the vehicle back on Saturday, only for an employee to deliver more bad news this morning. He just said, he goes, well, we had the catalytic converter stolen again. He goes, round two, here we go. Rick says the Nissan NV200 helps staff deliver meals to homebound seniors. It's a sucker punch. You get, like, kicked in the gut. The organization is now using a spare vehicle to make sure those meals still get delivered. Rick says insurance covered the cost the first time around. The Fort Bend seniors had to pay the $1,000 deductible. This message for whoever is responsible. Don't do this to, to individual agencies. Don't do this to individuals, period, because at the end of the day, it just hurts everyone. Rosenberg police say they are now investigating, and Rick says police dropped off this mobile unit with a camera for surveillance of the area. As for the vehicle, the nonprofit is talking with the insurance company and to figure out the next steps there. We're live tonight in Rosenberg. Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News.